Hi guys, and welcome back to another Heroes and Generals Weapons Review. Today we're going to be taking a look at a German assault rifle. <sighs> Some people call it the prelude to the AK-47. Some people call it the grandfather of modern assault rifle design. We're going to be taking a look at the Sturmgewehr 44, otherwise known as the STG-44, or the designation Machine Pestel 43, or Machine Pestel 44, as there is technically four different variants of this rifle. And in Heroes and Generals, I believe the variant shown is of the default convariant, which I believe was the... Uh, just checking my notes here. It was the Machine Pestel 44 uh, Mark H, it says here, question marks. Uh, citations needed. We're going to go over some basic uh, uh, history of the weapon first before we actually go into any information in game. First and foremost is uh, the the weapon was in service from 1943, uh, May of 1943, all the way up to 1945 of Nazi Germany. However, the weapon is still even used by today's standards. Don't believe me? It's actually used in the Syrian civil war. It's still being used to this day. It's all service in World War II, the Korean War, the Algerian War, the Vietnam War, very limited though, and very limited use in the Ugandan War. Uh, the Ugandan War was a war in, in, uh, in the Africas. Uh, the Iraq War, yes, even the Iraqis actually had Sturmgewehr 44s. And the, as I said, the Syrian Civil War. The designer of the weapon was Hugo Schmeiser. The initial design was in 1942, and the manufacturer was C.G. Heschelwaffen und Frandebeck. I'm sorry if I murdered that. And, uh, well, let's just say... There was 425,977 of them confirmed made, i.e. that's how many serial numbers have actually been tracked via the factory. That does not include prototype weapons, nor does it include low serial number weapons, i.e. serial numbers from zero all the way up to maybe 10 to 20 to 30. I've even seen it go as high as up to serial numbers of 100. Now, the average weight of the gun unloaded is 4.6 kilograms or 10 pounds. Now with a mat with a standard 30 round magazine inserted, the gun can weigh up to 5.13 kilograms or 11.3 pounds. Overall length of the weapon was 94 centimeters or 37 inches. Barrel length was 42 centimeters or 16.5 inches. Therefore, it is designated as an assault rifle by the uh, uh, um, uh, 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 by several. Uh, 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 military branches around the world but most importantly you can in theory get a, a, a transferable Sturmgewehr 44s in, a, a, in, in for example here in the states where I live and various other countries uh, I am actually in the process of talking to someone who does actually have a World War II Sturmgewehr um, I'm looking I'm talking to them about actually purchasing this Sturmgewehr so I can actually add, do an adaptation somewhere in here with me actually purchasing, buying, uh, uh, buying the weapon and firing the weapon uh, for the sake of this video slash maybe a video update. I don't know just yet. The cartridge it fired was the 7.92 by 33 millimeter Kurtz, aka the 7.9 millimeter Kurtz, or the pistol per stones and 43 ammo. It's a gas operated tilt in bolt, full, fully auto or semi auto. Its rate of fire is 550 to 600 rounds per minute, citation needed. With a muzzle velocity of 685 meters per second or 2,247 feet per second. Effective firing range was 300 meters in automatic mode or 600 meters in semi-automatic mode. However, citation needed, it is not that accurate in the game, you'll find out later. Feed system was a 30 round detachable box magazine. There have been rumors out there that you can get an extended magazine of 45 rounds and even a circular drum magazine has been floated around in the Eastern Bloc of the Soviet Union and Croatia that was a heavily modified uh, AK-47 drum kit that was converted to be used in a Sturmgewehr. Uh, again, there's really not that many photographs of it that I know of. But, as you can see from this quick, simple Google image, that there was indeed a few extended magazines. The standard 15 round, 30 round, and then the full 45. Right there. However, uh, I, I, can't seem, there, I can't seem to find the uh, circular drum magazine that was mentioned on several other websites. Uh, so, 
Unfortunately, citation needed on that part of this review. However, the sights are adjustable. Sights, rear V-notch front, hooded post. Now, what is the gun like in the game? Well, I've owned the gun now for two days and I'm actually pretty far in to the, the weapon itself. Uh, I've gone a few games where it's been nothing but credit wins. For example, this uh, one cost me uh, 350 credits and I believe I banked, I think, 4,000? Yeah, 4,000 credits almost. There's even been some games that have cost me barely a thousand as you can see here and I've actually made almost 10,000 and I know that a lot of people in the game have had issues with the Sturmgewehr saying that it's a, a, a credit muncher if you will i.e. it takes up for, uh, too much money um, they, they, they say that the weapon is no good and various other things but as you can see I'm already up to four star silver uh, with the weapon almost one star gold and the way I run my Sturmgewehr may not suit your playstyle but it suits mine as you can see I run just a simple anti-tank H3 with a Cougar wagon with my ammunition supply crate to resupply my, uh, uh, my anti-tank weapons now stock this weapon is beyond on par with anything else you're going to come across but most importantly the only modification I have run with this weapon is the field trigger that's it that's all I've run stock ammo everything else is stock stock ammunition I as you can see I do have the Yagja phone skirts on un round unlocked don't use it I have the field adjusted sights don't use them as you can see I even have the stainless steel barrel don't use it I, I, it's just a trigger. That's it. The exact same things that I run on my machine guns, for example, on my submachine guns, for example. Let's take a look at my Thompson on uh, Unknown Soldier. Just that, a trigger. Let's take a look at. Uh, 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 it's all I've ever run on the majority of my weapons. It's just a straight up, simple no snafu to do build it it's just a straightforward gun i like the strong of it i've always liked the strong of it it's been one of those guns that when you pick up in the game you feel confident with it it's a confidence booster like i said in my scout 2s barrel uh, review it is a confidence booster there are certain weapons that when you hold in your hands you feel more confident and the strong of it does it the mp40 does it for example, you've gone through the grind uh, uh, of the Machine Pistol 34, as you can see, just the trigger. And you're going through the Machine Pistol 40. Looking back at the Machine Pistol 34, you think that the Machine Pistol 40 is godlike. Well, needless to say, the Stonger Shoots says to the Machine Pistol 40, F you and your god like, I am a god. You are a lesser god. A lot of people try to use their Stonker Shootses just like an SMG, a medium to close range. And I've noticed that that, with a stock rate of fire, it's going to basically get you killed maybe 3 out of 10. I use my Stonker there as a cover fire weapon as a a weapon that I I, I, I would see I, I ground out my assault ribbon with using the Gewehr 43 a, a, a marksman's rifle so I'm used to seeing a target moving to 100 meters 200 meters and just scoping in and shooting well you really can't do that in heroes and generals with the strong uh with a high rate of fire because by the time your second bullet has left the gun, you're off your target. Even on on, on semi-auto. It literally, if you put the weapon on semi-auto and just tap fire, every third shot that you fire will completely miss the target. It will completely dart to the left, dart to the right, or dart above the target. 
So what I've decided to do is disengage any target that's 100 meters or more out. Use cover, always use cover. Rule one, always use cover. You know this, guys. And this gun will not let you down. Um, when I have died with this weapon and a squad mate has picked it up, they tell me on TeamSpeak, dear God, man, this weapon is, is just amazing. The Stronger Bear 44 is an amazing weapon in the Origin Generals. Do not listen to the naysayers, okay? They've probably got, you know, bullet, scope, triggers, barrels, and all these other bloody attachments thinking that's what they run on their, their MP40s or their MP34s, and it's going to work for their uh, uh, Stronger Bear 44. And it doesn't. There's a reason why it doesn't work for you. That's because it's an assault rifle, not an SMG. It is a fine line. It's like taking a Strongerwehr and an MP40, they having a love child, and the Strongerwehr 44 was born. Yes, you can put a scope on the Strongerwehr. Will I put a scope on my Strongerwehr? Absolutely not. There will be no scope on my Strongerwehr. I don't see the point in doing that. It just needs the trigger. That's it. That's all the Stronger Bear needs. It doesn't need any ammo. It doesn't need anything else. And I'm even going to show you why. Uh, thanks to a couple of users in some other uh, uh, Heroes in General stream streamers, I found this tool. It's called Redmond's HNG tool. And you can find every weapon in the game, and you can even select past builds. Bauer, Adams, Churchill, etc., etc. You can then pick your ammunition, your sights, your trigger, go to your advanced options, price to repair, etc., etc., price to build, and you can even add what badges you have for your build. It compare generates the database this is not a hack tool by the way guys and there you go shots to kill three shots zero to 35 meters smg range four shots beyond that five shots beyond that look at the time to kill 216 microseconds if you're in a 200 ping game they're dead before they even realize they're being shot at your damage drop off charts your time to kill charts. Uh, sorry, shots to kill. And there's your time to kill. There's your damage per second. Damage per magazine. Price of the weapon, 208,000. Trigger cost, 12,000. Grand total, 220,000 credits. Price to, price to repair, 249 credits per 100 shots, guys. What does that tell you? So every time someone tells you, it's right here in black and white. So every time when someone tells you that they're losing money using their Sturmgewehr, they're either not using it properly at all, or they've got it so heavily modified that it won't work. Now, you guys know my playstyle. You know, when I'm playing my recon, I stay back, I spot targets, I take out targets that are needed. I ask the highest ranking soldier in my team, what targets, where do you need my scope? And I stay there, knowing that that tank driver I just killed, he's going to come back in that tank and he's going to blast my the area I'm in with HE or machine gun fire to try and kill me. But I still stay my ground. With the Sturmgewehr, I can do it with confidence knowing that if my commander says take the ACAP and hold it and I've taken the ACAP I know that I now have a weapon in my hands that I can use to actually defend the ACAP and if if I die to an enemy soldier it's due to their better skills or them having an exact weapon on par or, or I don't blame myself I don't blame my weapon anymore you try and hold a cap with a, 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 a car 98 or or with uh, a Gewehr 43 you can't 
not successfully, you will die. If you're bomb rushed by more than two soldiers, you will die. No matter how good you are, you could be Cotton Gamer, you could be Cat, uh, I'm the Flying Cow, you could be Old Man Smithers, you could be Adaway, you could be Luftwaga, it doesn't matter. You're going to die. The sheer numbers and the sheer amount of enemy bullets coming at you will drop you. When it comes to the Sturmgewehr, I know that I can return that amount of fire back at my enemy. Confidently and successfully and actually kill. So, all in all, Sturmgewehr 44, what do I think about this weapon? I think it's a weapon to aspire to. I spent an entire week grinding from Assault Infantry, I think rank 6, all the way up to 12. Took me a week, no boosters, no premium, as you can see. No premium time, no extra badge, no veterancy, no nothing. Granted, I did get a booster... I think right near the end when my stream was coming to an end because I dedicated an entire week. I've played nothing but Germany for this entire week to get me my Sturmgewehr. Now I have it. Now I know why. There are some players in the game that say once you get a specific weapon in a game, in the game, you stick to it like super glue because it suits your playstyle. Sturmgewehr suits my playstyle. If my tank, if my commander says, I need you and your men to hold E4 or Charlie 4 or Bravo 2 to the last man, I will hold it holding my Sturmgewehr. The Marines have a, have a song. This is, this, this is my rifle. This is my gun. And if I could, I would add the Mitz Gotten Unz skin. To the Sturmgewehr, the God be with us skin. And all in all, if you're a German player and you are looking for a weapon that is going to not only suit a defender's playstyle but an attacker's playstyle, Sturmgewehr is it. The MG42 is a great suppressing weapon. 50 rounds goes bloody fast at whatever your fire rate is. And I mean blisteringly fast. So you're going to have to take heavy set and fast reload to even make that weapon feasible, but you still can't swing it around like you can the Sturmgewehr. All in all, there's a reason why American players and Soviet players will pick up the Sturmgewehr if they get one off a dead enemy or off a dead German. It is that legendary of a weapon. There would be no M16. There would be no AK-47s. And every other weapon that has sprang and grown from those two weapons, they wouldn't exist without the Sturmgewehr 44. Now I named my Sturmgewehr I got to hacks because one of my followers Warhammer 2020 he has a Sturmgewehr and every time he died I would pick his Sturmgewehr up and I would actually go positive KD with it at least three to four kills to one death. Now that I own a Sturmgewehr, I went 27 and five, 29 and two. Trust me, confidence is key. And the Sturmgewehr is it, my friends. Please enjoy the montage after this. It's uh, pieced together from some of the kills that I got uh, while streaming. So uh, the audio is going to be muted. And uh, so till then, guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Greatly appreciate it. If you have any comments, queries, or questions, please leave them in the comments section down below. And most importantly, guys, catch me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash deceptivecobras. And uh, keep your shows flying, keep your enemies dying. Your Cobra Commander is out, and I'll see you in the next video review, which should be the MP40. Until then, guys, take care.